Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Jack in the Box Models. I'm your host Jack and uh, as promised I'm going to be doing a new episode of what I like to call From the Old Dusty Shelf. It's model kits I've already built and uh, I've not shown you before. Well this one in particular y'all have seen a few pictures of it here and there and I've got a lot of uh, positive feedback about my van and uh, there's a little history behind this one too uh, this is the only van kit I've got by the way I you know uh, I just those things are kind of spendy especially if you like the old ones like I do I've got a champagne appetite on a beer budget if you know what I mean um, anyway I grew up in the 70s. I was born in 1964, so that's dating myself in a small southern town. And we had it, well, actually, at the time, we had a few hobby shops on the square. Uh, but this one in particular, it was called Hammers. And you'd go in Hammers, and they had the clothing and stuff in the middle of the store. You go down in the basement, and that's where the tools was. You take those old, thick, wooden, creaky steps upstairs to the toy department. On the first landing, there was, you know, action figures and tonkas and stuff like that. Then you hang a ride and go up another short set of steps. And there was a big landing in front of a big glass picture window that had all the model kits in it. Well... I think this was back in the 90s, maybe even early 2000, um, my middle brother, he was a few years older than me, his name was Larry, passed away at the age 45 due to uh, alcoholism. He had cirrhosis of the liver, uh, when he passed away he was as orange as a cantaloupe, God rest his soul, but uh, one of the one of the last things he did for me was he uh, he bought me this model kit and it, it means a lot to me. Um, he came up from Texas. He was a very successful DJ in radio and nightclubs down there. And uh, he come up one weekend with his wife and he's like, "Come on, bro, let's uh let's go do some riding and uh, I want to buy you something." He's always want to buy me something. I was like, okay, so uh, we found our way over to Hammers. They was still in business, you know, um, well, they call it brick and mortar store. And we went upstairs, and he really liked the monster model kits. He was showing me this monster model and that monster model, and at the time, I really liked them too. But I seen this van. I wanted a van. And he told me I could pick out any model I wanted. Well, I got this one that's before you. It's a Ravel kit. This is the box. Um, let's see what the... Well, it's dated 2000. So I was pretty pretty close on my date there. It's the kind that the top don't come off. It, it, you have to open it from the end like this. And uh, there's the side artwork on that. Now when I was building this kit um, I wanted the back doors to be able to open, but for some reason, the little hinges, uh, I don't know, it just, uh, I don't know if it was a mold error or what, but it, they just didn't click into place and hold like they were supposed to, so I had to glue my back door shut. Um, now at the time when I built this model, uh, I wasn't as knowledgeable about the hobby as I am now uh, due to years of trial and error and figuring out things on my own. And then when I discovered YouTube and met all you guys, oh, 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 that took my skill up to a whole new level, if I do say so myself. Uh, so thank you guys for that. Here's another version with a different livery. I like those flames. I still have those flames too because uh, I didn't use them on my kit. 
and I still have this uh, desert sink there. I'm gonna have to have, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to keep a pointer right behind my ear so I can have one within reaching distance. Uh oh, that one's glued to the table or something. Uh, what was that white one I had? Well, I'll go with the green one. Pointer. And uh, let's see, on the back of the box, there's uh, different looks. There's a black one that looks pretty cool. And of course, I used this livery here. Well, exactly. Even the little sprites here and the vanity. I did mine just like this, but I thought the white in the background looked way better than the orange with that purple livery. Uh, there's one with a blue. It says Nirvana. This one says the Sundance Express on it, and it's got like a desolate desert looking scene with an old tree and old eagle buzzard flying over or something like that. Okay, without further ado, let me get my version of the 70s custom van. I'm gonna stick its pointer behind my ear and no lie. I had to do some uh, cleaning on it because because of my neglect it uh, didn't get put in a display case like I should have uh, I'm gonna readjust the camera a little bit so I ain't on these hats bring you down here a little bit and, okay. uh, I really need to make it a habit to put these things in a display case. It keeps the dust off of them and where I live. I live in an old house too. This house is almost a hundred years old. It gets quite uh, it gets quite dusty. And um, but there she is, fellas and ladies. Noticed I got some lady uh, prescribers now too. Um, there's the wheels, get them shined up. All right, where's that pointer, Jack? It says vanity right here, and here's the little sprites. I don't know if you can see those or not. And uh, turn you around. And I tell you what, you really got to be careful with these little antennas and stuff. Uh, one of these mirror antennas. This one on this side right here. I bet you I broke that thing at least three times and I had to re-glue it on. I really like the way that front end looks, man. That's just... I'm sorry, but that is just cool. That is a cool truck van looking front end. I love the lower spoiler. Uh, now this little bumper piece right here, right out of the kit, the stud that goes into... Uh, the van itself was broken and I had to let me see if I can get you a shot of that I had to pointer pointer I had to glue a piece of sprue on here a cr piece of chrome sprue and uh, drill that hole out a little bit so I could get that in there or else it wouldn't fit while we're here let me pop this hood off Oh, where's my headlamp when I need it? Well, let me see if I can adjust this light down. You might get to see a little piece of the motor, that 350 Chevrolet engine in there. And I think I wired it too, maybe even. Yep, it's got wires on it. Uh, you probably can't see them, but they're in there. Anywho. Ah. Uh, I'll just leave that hood off for now because if I don't, it'll fall. But I love my van. I took uh, to tent these little port windows back here. I just painted the inside of the, the windows black so it would appear to be tinted. Uh, same with the little, the little vent window right here. I painted those black too. Uh, 
I don't have an airbrush uh, but I've seen somewhere where I think it's airbrush paint uh, that you can use to just mist glass with or something and it gives it a, a tinted look but you can still see through it now some of these wheels will roll and some of them don't I think the front ones I had to glue love the side pipes too uh, and here's a look at the back end I like those Chevrolet tail lights that year and then here's a look at the license plate it says Van Man California and you got the tube chrome tube bumper and then there again I blackened out the windows here yeah that wheel rolls now let's get inside and well, let me show you what I did here I used felt now this was before I discovered all this flocking and nail polish stuff. Uh, so I just went to Walmart and bought me a sheet of tan felt and laid that in there and cut it out and glued it in to simulate the carpet effect. And you're really going to be able to see it in here. Yeah. See if I can play with this zoom a little bit. It may may work better. It may make things worse. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell from behind the camera. There's my little TV over the ice box thing, and then of course I've got the wood paneling at the top of the walls, and then you've got the simulated leather diamond tuck below it. There's a speaker cabinet in the corner. Back door panels. The speaker right there. There's that wall. Whoops. Got to keep eye on these antennas too, guys. There's the CB and the captain's chairs. Dog house where you can sit your drinks, and there's a what is it? Is it uh, a stereo? Yeah, there's a stereo. There's a stereo here, air conditioning vents here, tachometer above that, and then of course you've got the uh, gauges and stuff there behind the steering wheel, and uh. I was tickled pink how it turned out and uh, you know I've owned a couple of real vans in my day you know back when I played in vans and stuff I had a really nice 1982 Ford Econoline I had a couch in the back it made out to a bed and uh, uh, four captain's chairs it had a electric bar in it uh, where you could put liquor bottles and and there was like different buttons where you want vodka or bourbon or whatever and there was a little sink there uh, it had a built-in ice chest uh, just a killer van uh, I'm gonna have to put pictures of it on here well you can see it if you go to my page and there's a playlist and if you go down there where it says uh, home videos and you'll see me with long hair sitting on a boat dock and Mrs. Jack in the Box in the water in front of me and we're holding hands and being all lovey-dovey and stuff. If you'll click on that video and watch it, I did uh, a picture set to music video of uh, my 18 year span as a bass player. Uh, and I probably couldn't play nothing on it now. I don't know, it's been so long. I think I've kind of lost it. It's kind of one of them deals you gotta use it or lose it, if you know what I mean. But there she is. There's my 70s custom van, my first one. I'm looking at some more on uh, 
the evil bay but uh i don't know man people you'd think you're buying a real real van what they want for some of them things but i don't know i guess they're valuable because they don't make them anymore but uh that's my 70s custom van from the old dusty shelf i'd like to thank all you guys and gals for watching me i listen to this old silly hillbilly uh i really enjoy this hobby uh i enjoy socializing with you guys and i really wish people when they come and watch my videos would leave a comment uh i have spent countless hours watching other people's channels and making sure i comment on their videos and some of you guys have have uh subbed me back and stuck with me and watch everything i put out and I, I love you for it thank you so much from the bottom of my heart uh but i wish more people would comment on my videos when you watch them uh because uh i've got to where anymore this is this is what i do i've got a bell notification everybody that i'm subbed to their videos pop up but here's the deal people that don't watch my videos uh my time's just as valuable as yours so i'm not going to watch yours either uh people that comment on my videos therefore i know they're watching my videos those are the people i'm watching right or wrong that's just how i roll um once again i'd like to thank all my prescribers don't that sound good prescribers um for uh, subbing me and, and, and hanging with me and sticking with me. And uh, I hope we have a very long friendship. Um, where am I going with this? Come on, Jack. You, you did good up to this point. I guess that's all I got, guys. I'm going to cut you loose. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye now. Well, I can't believe I did this show, but I forgot to show you the bottom of the van. Man, you guys are going to have to start poking me when I, I do this stuff. Uh, pointer time. Uh, it's uh, pretty basic. Uh, Two-tone black. I got the flat black in the back, and, and then I've got the highlighted and ribs and frame area done in gloss black. I got the yellow Monroe shocks. There's one there. And there's one here. They're staggered. I guess because of the excessive weight. Monroe's in the front. I got the engine block. Red. and Silver oil pan transmission. Uh, now this was tricky. Right here is the steering box. And I've got the steering shaft, if you will, that goes all the way up through the dash. And I'm going to tell you, when I put the uh, felt in this thing, it made it really hard to go together. I mean, it was a, it was a beast, let me tell you. And I've got to do some touch-up painting. I've got a little white spot here and here where I had had wires on it. Uh, and then I put the chrome cover right here i had wires on it twist ties right there right there uh ready to go into the uh display case the little plastic display cases but i was just moving it around moving it around i'll get to it i'll get to it and while i was moving it around them little wires started rubbing the paint off so i'm gonna have to touch that up um uh, and of course the tires, two-piece tires are starting to come apart. I'm going to have to address that. Or I don't know, since it's, you know, once I, once I get it in the display case, you ain't going to see that anyway. But, uh, that's all I got, guys. I just forgot that one part. Catch you next time. See ya.